Hello Photoshop enthusiasts! Thank you so much for watching my video. Today I am going to be showing you how to Photoshop a mermaid's tail onto a person. So let's get started! As you can see, I already have two photos pulled up. The first one is of a girl. I chose her because her legs were pressed together, which makes photoshopping the tail in a lot easier later. And also, the fact that she's wearing a bikini top already makes it a lot easier to turn into a beautiful mermaid. And as for this fish, I chose him because I really loved the color of his fins and the fact that his scales matched the girl's bikini top color. You can find both these photos on Unsplash.com. So let's begin. Grab the magnetic lasso tool and trace around your fish. What we are trying to do here is we are trying to cut um, the black background out of the fish so that we can slice them into the pieces that we need. So once you have your path connected, go ahead and make sure that your background layer isn't, that it is unlocked. And once it's unlocked, go ahead and press backspace and your background has been deleted. So now let's cut our fish apart. What we're going to do is we are going to use the magnetic lasso tool to trace around the scales. So as you see, we're tracing around the scales. This part doesn't have to be too perfect, mainly because we are going to Photoshop the scales in a little bit as well. Once you have gotten your selection together, go ahead and copy and paste it onto a new layer called scales. And you are going to do this exact same thing with the fin. So go ahead and use your magnetic lasso tool to trace around the fin. And then you're going to copy and paste it onto a new layer called fin. Now, of course, you don't have to use the magnetic lasso tool. You could also use the pen tool, but that's just a tool that I prefer to use for this in this instance. So now that you have those two pieces on two different layers, take the visibility off of your background layer. And you're going to separate the pieces using the move tool. Now what we're going to try and do is we need to make the scales a lot bigger so that they fit the girl. So go ahead and grab your marquee tool and divide it into three pieces by selecting over it and using the move tool to move your pieces. And again, using the marquee tool, you are going to um, highlight the area in between and then you're going to go to edit and fill. And that makes all the it duplicates all the pixels so it makes your space your scales look even bigger yay now that our scale mass is bigger we are going to press ctrl j to duplicate the layers and then we are going to merge them so we can get rid of that awkward middle part using the patch tool Once you have photoshopped that out, you're going to press Ctrl J again. And you're going to move this duplicate to the back of it. And then you're going to merge those two layers again. And then you're going to use the patch tool to fix that weird um, in-between part. Again, we're just trying to create as big of a mass of scales as possible just so that they can fit the model's legs. Okay, I think this is the last time we are duplicating it. Again, use the patch tool to get rid of um, weird coloring. And then you are going to copy and paste that layer onto the layer of the girl. And then you're going to press Ctrl T to use the free transform and rotate the scales around and use the warp tool right there to um, move the scales around on the model. 
So try to move the scales as closely as you can to her legs. We are primarily trying to pay attention to the pattern of the scales. Like for example, um, moving it like this makes it to where the scales on the top of her thighs are bigger than let's say the scales around her waist and knees. You can adjust the opacity as needed to better help you see. And then when you're done, you're going to create a mask on that layer and using the paintbrush tool, you're going to try and cut as closely as possible to her legs as you can. Um, the reason I recommend using the mask is just in case um, you mess up, you can always switch the colors and um, undo your mess up. Like, for example, what I just did right here. <laughs> so just go ahead and try to fix, um, fix it around her thighs as well as you can. And remember, you're going to be doing this exact same thing for the lower legs. And look, you already created your tail, yay! So we are going to merge the two tail layers and then we are going to use the patch tool to fix that weird connection part. And as you can see, her tail has a bend and to make it more lifelike, we are going to use the burn tool to create a shadow where, her, where the bend is. So just go ahead and play with the exposure and make it seem like there's a little bit of a shadow there. And also, as uh, you can see, the tail is a little dark for the background. So after you're done using the burn tool to create that little shadow, you're gonna grab the dodge tool and you're going to use it to make the places on the tail that the light touches look brighter. So as you can see over here, um, right there on the right of her thigh and like on where her knees used to be those parts need to be made lighter so go ahead and um, play with the exposures uh, figure out what you like what you don't like and just really make this tail your own and go ahead and kind of like edit around the places so once you're done with that, you're going to go to the other layer, to the other photo of the fish and, co and um, copy and paste the fin over. Now my fin was a little jagged, so I just went ahead and erased um, some of the weird pieces, make it, ma made it more uniform. So then you copy and paste and use and press control T and then just move it around to how you would like. And then um, I wasn't completely satisfied with um, the movement of the tail. So after I kind of got into position I wanted, I went to filter, stylize, and warp. And then I did 200. So I just felt like it gave the tail a little bit more flair. And then I used the free transform tool to uh, make the fin look even bigger. So again, just kind of play with it, see what you like, what fits your image. And we are almost there. 
So go ahead and fit it onto your tail. One thing I did notice is that it looks like her heel is showing. So I used the patch tool to Photoshop that out just to make it look less weird. So let's turn on that visibility and go ahead and merge the fin layer with the scales layers and use the patch tool to make the fin layer attach more seamlessly onto the tail. And then go ahead and merge um, all your layers. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make it seem like the scales are coming out of her human torso using the patch tool. Now you can go up further with the scales than I did. I just made it like that just because I thought it looked better. But again, it's all up to you. After you are done using the patch tool to make her scales Go ahead and use the blur tool and it just kind of gives it more of like a whimsical vibe, helps it blend in better. And ta-da! You have your mermaid! Congrats! So what you can do now is you can go in and make minor touches like add in more shadowing, um, more light. You can photoshop your mermaid and put her into a cave, underwater, however you like. I really hope this video was helpful and if you're looking to for more cool Photoshop videos, please follow my channel. Bye!